Hey there everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Chill with No Man's Sky. Now you might be wondering, what planet am I on? This doesn't look like anything in your star system. It's because it's not. See, after the last episode, I built the housing for the warp drive. I built the antimatter. Uh, I didn't build the antimatter, I found antimatter. And I built the antimatter housing. That, that way, let me actually turn this down a little bit. Uh, where does it go? In general options, right? Let's do that. But I built all the stuff to actually, you know, travel to a different star system. Rather than following the Atlas path, however, I went to get my Corvax scientist, so I recruited him while I was here. Problem is, I can't make more antimatter, so I'm stuck here right now. Nope. Oh. I'm just gonna go through the motions and see what we find. So, let's see what's going on over here. But yeah, that last planet I was on was actually a new environment that I've yet to show on screen. And it was extremely toxic. To the point where if you were outside, you'd actually say toxic protection falling. Let's go ahead and land. See what's going on here. This plant looks really peaceful though. Doesn't look like the temperatures are gonna be that high either. Oh, 56 degrees Fahrenheit at night? Oh. That is gorgeous. Look at that's the toxic planet I was on, by the way. That's the space station up there, I believe. That planet is massive. Well, let's see what's going on here. Electrolytic Traveler anomaly now beyond two standard deviations. Suggest further aid. Blueprint offered. Unlike the other life forms I've met so far, this one speaks in a language I understand, and yet I cannot comprehend their meaning. They speak as if they do not know what they are saying, as if their mind is not their own. The alien offers me a blueprint, a means to construct my own antimatter. I take the antimatter blueprint. Whoever is leaving me this trail has some sort of design, but I cannot fathom it. There is nothing to do now but continue to follow. Alright, and there we go. I can now make... Um... Warp cells. Which is not that hard, honestly. Ooh, Jesus, that ship is huge. Let's grab some of the stuff that's out here. Might as well scan this weird creature while I'm here. Cobalt deposit, huh? The technology module. I don't need any of that stuff right now. <clears throat> Go ahead and use a portable refiner. Oh, I'm missing metal plating. Oh, I also don't know if I did it last episode, but I found a glitch in reality. I'll have to see if I can get back to that planet. Showcase what it is. But it's very odd. Like, easily the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Was a new one. Those birds must have come from around here somewhere. There they are. They honestly look like Pharaoh from Pokemon. Get out of range. Hey. 
All right, so go ahead and craft my metal plating. Next, craft the portable refiner. I need oxygen. Where can I find some of that stuff? You guys give off carbon. Dihydrogen. Chromium rich plant. That's a new one. Jetpack power surge detected. The power surge just lets you have infinite jetpack. There it is, oxygen. Let's go grab that. Or not. Hmm. What the hell are these? Rascal and wise, huh? I was just here chilling, man, and I see these big old things. You guys are huge compared to me, though. Jesus. Pharaohs again. The oxygen, right? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I think by the time you guys get this episode, it should be Mother's Day. Hmm. If that's the case, happy Mother's Day to anyone who's a mom out there, or, you know, to everyone that's actually watching this video. Go say hi to, hi to your mom. Say happy Mother's Day. You know, you love her, and you haven't seen her in a while, maybe, but you should go hang and spend the day with her. Important. Balked him, balked him, yon, yon, yon. Stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. Vision begins to shape shape. Robotic life form turns towards me. The light steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. Name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of a strange vision I had just experienced. A word in the alien tongue seared into my brain. Got the Corvax word for rare. Paraffinium, that's a new one. First things first, build this guy. Alright, next, what do I need? Which requires what? I know the antimatter housing, but antimatter itself is condensed carbon and chromatic metal. So, to make chromatic metal, 
I could use. I don't think any of these actually. Sodium, I get sodium nitrate. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, let's do that, actually. Get rid of all my sodium. I'll let him do that thing. I should recharge my terrain manipulator. There's ferrite dust. Giant chlorine crystal. But yeah, so you can indeed swim in this game, by the way. If you happen to find a planet that has water, you just hop right on in. And, like most water games, there is an oxygen meter. There are also a submerged relic. also be life forms right under here. Look at those guys. Y'all inflate when stressed. Interesting. Phytophosphate. Interesting. Chloride lattice. Y'all are even weirder. Oh, you're jellyfish. Really big jellyfish, actually. Ow, what the hell? attacked me. Not sure what attacked me underwater. Something did. Clam. Oh, Jesus.
I know what a living pearl is, but that's a thing. Ow. Maybe that's the thing that was hitting me. to do that but I did I know I just saw you over here. Oh, the birds come down here too, huh? So I'm not crazy. I know I saw that thing, right? Where did it go? It just phased out of existence? There it is. Holy Jesus. Long distance migrations. Processes dirt. Okay. You're a strange creature you are. Where did I put my thing? Over by that I think? Not at all what I was planning on doing with that trip there, but I did it. <sighs> also, now I think about it, you might not see this episode of Mother's Day. You're probably seeing the other episode on Mother's Day. I don't know if this is the first episode or the second episode I recorded. There's quite a bit of stuff that I've been doing. There's a humming egg down here. I'm gunning for it. Oh. Said it was over here, but okay. What the hell is that? It can fly? You are one ugly looking motherfucker. God, you fight. You're aggressive, huh? Oh, 
Okay, so you are aggressive. Get the fuck up, boy. I was like, what was hitting me? I guess it was those things. Where's my refiner at, man? I don't have to build another one. I know my refiner's around here somewhere. Here's probably that deposit over there. I learned the Corvex word for Corvex. Oh yeah, so the glitch planet that I found is really weird. I gotta, I'm gonna go back there just to show it off. But I actually even named it glitch because of how weird it is. It wasn't this where I had my thing. Yeah, because I saw you guys here and you freaked me the hell out. I pick up my... I pick it up? No. I can't even find my own stuff, man. I need to make a metal plating for that. I need ferrite dust. And I don't have enough of that. Fuck you, plant. Thanks. Your sodium. Oh, I only have sodium nitrate. Oh. Where? I know I have my refuel, my refiner around here somewhere.
I swear I remember having it around here. Yeah, because I already did this one. something I don't need. You know what? I'm gonna just summon the starship. And why the hell not? Ferrite dusts for metal plating. I can't. I'm. I'm still mad. I lost my actual machine. Cause now I lost all the sodium I had in there too. But whatever. I'll take regular carbon, thank you. There we go. What? Buddy, that was a very weird position to put your arm in. There we go. Copper, candium, emerald, and indium. Hmm. Uh, 
don't know what this parafnium is, but might as well take as much of it as I can. There's my portable refiner. Jesus. Copper deposit straight ahead. Go ahead and do that then. I don't know what song this is, but I like it. So I'll put all the, of course, you know, all the song information, all that in the video uh, description below. But I'm also going to put it on a little pop-up that's going to show up in the video itself. So it'll be fun. I'll have to figure out what they are. I'm really liking it though. The Star Bramble is the thing I can pick up, apparently. This is all ferrite dust? Yo. Perfect. I need a whole bunch of you anyway.
the uh, bloom and pearls become these things for their pods i should say no those are just actual hazardous fauna that were there Back out. I need to go to the copper deposit. First, I'll run to the alien artifact, though. I'm not talking much today guys there's honestly not much of an update for me I've kind of updated everything on the last few videos you know getting a new job hopefully soon getting myself you know into a better situation hopefully that's that's that paraffinium stuff again this stuff that I need over here I also need to recharge this thing Giant dihydrogen crystal? Jesus. Right, let's go to the refiner real fast. But yeah, so there's not much of an update on my end. Like, I pretty much caught everybody else up on what's going on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes my headphone disconnects. It's really weird. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Because it shouldn't be doing that ever. But whatever. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, there is honestly not much of an update on my end. You know, I've pretty much caught everybody else up on my life, like I said earlier. Like... You know, the new job. I have a new recording schedule. Hi there, little guy. You are tiny. I don't know what I fed you, but I fed you something. Fuel supply. There you go. You can continue that. But yeah, like I was saying, you know, I should hopefully have a new job soon. I'm going to use that to get my new computer going well not new more like improving the computer I already have and you know just getting stuff for myself a car the uh, capture cards I could do let's retros on console stuff and yeah that about sums it up on my end not much of an update uh, but yeah so let's just go ahead and get this stuff all sorted out so you can figure out what we're gonna do here we need to get copper in here for chromatic metal. Alright. Thank you. As for the glitchy planet, I might as well see if I can pull it up in the log while I'm here. Uh, discoveries. It's a whole planet in the last star system where we started. 
It's just, I just call the planet Glitch. Because that's exactly what it is. See this? This is considered an animal. I don't know how, but it is. It's very strange. But, uh, there's a whole bunch of weird stuff going on on that planet. So, we're gonna go back to it as soon as we can. Grab what's in here. Make some antimatter. I didn't mean to make the hydrogen jelly, but I guess I did. So, I don't know if I actually mentioned it yet or not, but I won't actually be quitting on uh, Shining Force. I did eventually get used to the way of how to save. While it's very annoying, I can at least save when I need to save. And if something happens and goes wrong, I can go back to that moment in time. Exactly. So it's not the worst. It's just really tedious. So, you might not see one episode of... Uh, pardon me. You might not see an episode of Shining Force this week, but hey, I got buddy. You might not see an episode of Shining Force this week, but you will be seeing it again. So that all depends on you know how I'm feeling with. I did not mean to make that. Whatever. I got two antimatters now. What I need is ferrite dust. But yeah, you'll be definitely seeing more of uh, Shining Force eventually, just might not be right away. But there definitely will be some more. Alright, so what I need now is some more ferrite dust. I want to make two warp cells since I have two antimatters. Charge depleted. Hmm. So each warp cell gives you 20%, okay. Go ahead and just head off planet.
Back to the galaxy map. Like you see that? That's the route to the galactic center. That's where I want to go. Go back home, boys. And thus, the warp engine's activated. Welcome back to the Glitchery 7 system. This was Glitch. We might as well land on it real quick. Error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching. Searching. Obtained. Destination 16, 16, 16, 16, 1, 6. 16 KLS Accept new guidance? Uh, sure Guidance accepted Piloting route Don't You're not taking me there now though Fuel source detected Is it on this planet? No, it's not Okay Let me show you glitch real fast. Before. I'm not gonna touch down on it, but I'll at least get close. Oh Jesus! So this is glitch. See, these weird containment pods are apparently holding on to glitches in reality. And these planets are apparently super rare because they usually mad unstable and they'll fall apart. Like they'll just fall out of reality itself. But also on these planets are, let me see if I can get lucky and find one because I found two already when I was playing off, off, uh, off cam. All right. It's this weird gate looking thing See if I find one around here Happen to see one around. Ow. Hmm. We're gonna go in this direction real quick, see if I see one. Actually, in this direction. If I don't happen to spot one within like the next 30 seconds, then I'll just show it off later. But yeah, this planet is really weird. And in fact, those balls that you see down there, some of them you can actually harvest. 
It says you can actually put it in your base, and I'm like, that's really trippy, actually. But it's getting creepier because if you go to those big ones, these really tall ones up close, you'll see the bottom is actually undulating and moving around. Really unsettling. Like, honestly, when I first came down here, I thought, are those things alive? Like, what kind of life form are you? And it's like, oh, wait, 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 there it is. There's one right there. That. In fact, let's go touch down on it. I don't know if this is one I've done before, but... It'll give you some really weird dialogue. You see? Anomaly strength, 116. Boundary failing. It's where the, the boundary of reality and... You know, another realm itself just fall apart. Repeat breach. Label Evagium Volby. Boundary failure. Iteration 509-3838-473272-R. A terminal blinks away, awaiting input. Let's take the data. Scenario. Termination of duplicate 098B. Analysis. Produce duplicate 098B. Cautionary measure for confrontation. Presented with inconvertible evidence of systemic errors in irrational behavior. Respond with silence. On the sixth attempt, ended with the utter annihilation of duplicate of 098B. The required data had been obtained. Something is happening to the system. Something is very wrong. So, these things, whatever made these, knows something is broken. And broken in a way that it shouldn't be. Hey, is it playing the same song again? I think it is. Not that I mind, I like the song. I just wasn't expecting to play it twice. Let's save that real quick. Now let's go ahead. Hey, okay, see, this is a plant, apparently. Oh, that should not have hit me, but okay. So the fuel source is on the same planet as my base. Let's go to the base first. Because that's the important one. My next major upgrade to the base will be, besides adding the Corvax Scientist to it, will be changing it from all wood to all metal. Because honestly, the wood base, while I do like it, eh, not my style. So, we're going to upgrade to all wood in a minute. Oh, why did I say all wood? All metal. There we go. We are slowly arriving. Very strange landing sequence, but we did it. Base traveler. 
as of course benefits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax will be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Let's welcome them. Honored to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax can tribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid, liquids close to the Corvax hearts. And now I have learned to make acid and lubricants, which is important. Uh, okay, harvest marrow bulb, and I can do more. Create plants with microprocessors and refiners. Also, clean the windows while you're gone. Okay. I got cobalt. I just need the marrow bulbs. And there's a portable refiner here, so I don't need this one. Blueprint research. Item I gotta unlock all this stuff. Find the marrow bulbs. I need to find a cave. You know what? I think I'll just leave this episode off here, actually. I'll find the copper and all that stuff on my own. Or the marrow foot bulbs, I think. I mean, I'll find this stuff on my own, you know. I don't need to record that process. I find them, I bring them back, you know. Unlock the stuff, rinse, repeat. But other than that, guys, I hope you all had a fun time with Let's Chill with No Man's Sky. Let me know what you think about the whole uh, lo-fi music in the background rather than the in-game music. I personally like it. It's super chill. But either way, guys, I'll catch you all here next week. So, you know, same bat time, same bat channel. See you here next Sunday on Let's Chill with No Man's Sky. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and, you know, leave a comment down below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you're always up to date with all my newest stuff. I got things, you know, like Let's Chill. I got my Let's Plays going on. I also have a currently ongoing series called Let's Retro where I play older games. Like, like I mentioned earlier, I'm playing right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys came way closer than I expected. Uh, I'm playing right now. I'm playing... Um, uh, Shining Force, I intend to play things like Kingdom Hearts and, you know, other games from like the PS1 and PS2 era. I intend on playing those as well. But other than that, guys, I will catch you here on the flip side. Have a great day, everyone.